All across the world are a number of strange reports that tell of terrifying dark paranormal entities that can manifest evil energies and perform impossible to explain feats. These entities are often referred to as demons and have been at the centre of a number of unexplainable phenomena. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over a few of these reports surrounding demonic entities as we work to understand the top 5 strangest paranormal beings that are believed to haunt our planet. The Zozo Demon One of the most terrifying stories of a haunting coming from a demonic entity is that of the story of the Zozo Demon and the countless number of people it has targeted in the past. According to reports made by people all across the internet, posting on blog forums, Reddit and a number of open forum sites, it became apparent to many that the name of the Zozo Demon kept popping up all around the world. The first known popular blog post concerning this demonic entity was written back in 2009, and was made by a man named Darren Evans, of whom referred to the dark entity as the Ouija Board Demon. He gave the entity this name due to the fact that he first made contact with the Zozo Demon when using a Ouija Board that he had become obsessed with in his spare time. For those that don't know, a Ouija board is one of the most popular played cursed games in the world. What is interesting about this game is that it is actually commonly used in seances and by psychics that wish to get in contact with entities trapped in the spirit world. In fact, there are whole dedicated communities that exist online that will help you get a board that will work best for you as well as provide the rules and etiquette of how to play the game without disturbing any malevolent spirits. According to Darren, however, these proper rules weren't followed during the summoning of the Zozo Demon. After the planchette of the board began spelling out Zozo over again, Darren asked the spirit what its purpose was, to which it replied, to bring you and your family to paradise. When he asked what paradise is, the demon slowly spelled out, hell. Shortly after this, Darren wrote that no matter what he did, where he moved and what he tried to do, the demon tortured him for years after this event even going as far as causing his one-year-old daughter to become violently ill. Though many have often claimed that Darren Evans made up the whole event, a whole community has formed around the Zozo Demon as many others have stepped forward claiming they have encountered the demon when playing with the Ouija board as well as uncovering a number of ancient writings describing a demon referred to as Zozo responsible for a number of terrorizing incidents in the past. Today, there are still reports of people being tormented by the entity all around the world. Greyfriars Kirkyard and the Mackenzie Poltergeist During the 17th century, there was a number of executions held at the Greyfriars Kirkyard when the king, at the time, was attempting to convert many followers of the Christian faith to the newly founded state religion of which led to a large number of rebel Presbyterian Covenanters soon becoming the centre of martyrdom and being taken to the site to be violently executed and silenced completely. Without much surprise, this has led to the Greyfriars Kirkyard being referenced by paranormal researchers as one of the most documented and reported haunted locations in the world. Though many hold the belief that the site remains to be the centre of a number of paranormal entities, many of them being among the 18,000 victims executed during the 17th century. Others claim that the main entity behind the hauntings to be that of Sir George Mackenzie, the one man single-handedly responsible for the suffering of the victims and their torture. Proof of this claim comes from the fact that the first reported attacks from a paranormal entity came back in 1998, shortly after a homeless man wanting to find shelter during a storm opened the tomb to Sir George Mackenzie. The first attack took place the following day after the tomb was broken into when a passerby attempted to enter the tomb but was blasted back by a cold force of air that knocked them down. Later that day, another woman was found near the tomb's entrance, passed out and lying across the front of the tomb with her neck completely covered in bruises that made it appear as if someone had choked her. When she came back to consciousness shortly after, she told those concerned that she was walking by the tomb and found that she couldn't breathe, slowly losing consciousness shortly after. Since this day back in 1998, 
there have been more than 500 reported violent attacks near the tomb and throughout the Greyfriars Kirkyard, with an untold many more left unreported for fear of being ridiculed. The Pontefract Poltergeist Located on the Checkfield Estate in East Yorkshire is one of the most famous poltergeist hauntings that has ever influenced one of the most popular scary movies of the modern day. This haunting is that of the Black Monk of Pontefract that has been at the centre of a large amount of evidence gathered to prove the existence of such paranormal entities and strange encounters. The first reported encounters of the Black Monk took place back in 1966, when the Pritchard family moved into the house in the town of Pontefract and became victims of strange paranormal sightings and experiences. They reported small, unexplainable happenings at first, such as that of small objects disappearing, strange foul smells that were reminiscent of a decaying body, lights suddenly turning on or off, and that of strange creaking throughout the house at random times throughout the day and night. These reports quickly became increasingly worrying as they began to encounter objects being thrown at them, pictures becoming slashed or broken, and a number of encounters of an entity dressed in a black robe hovering over them as they slept. Though many might claim that such accounts were falsified or exaggerated, during one terrible instance of the haunting, a local MP, the police and a vicar from the church witnessed the event and confirmed the sighting of the monk. The reports would later serve as the main inspiration for the film When the Lights Went Out, a popular British horror film from 2012. Robert the Doll Though many have argued that rather this object is merely cursed and not necessarily at the centre of a violent haunting, those of whom have been in proximity of the object or held it under their own possessions claim otherwise. Referred to as Robert the Doll, there appears to be a childlike doll designed by a German factory back in the early 1900s that appears to be terribly haunted and on display at the East Martello Museum to this day. According to those that have verified the history of Robert the Doll, the doll was once owned by the eccentric author and painter Robert Eugene Otto, of whom had already possessed a number of rumours surrounding him pertaining to strange behaviours he often portrayed. After the author's death, the doll was discovered by a woman named Myrtle Reuter, of whom bought the house shortly after and so also came into possession of the doll. She then reported that the doll was capable of moving on its own creating and moving around smaller voodoo dolls as well as being completely aware of everything that went on around him. As the doll exchanged owners, being consistently left behind when the house would be sold, more and more began to report strange behaviour from the doll such as that of changing facial expressions, the ability to move, make giggling sounds and leading to tragic events such as that of car accidents, broken bones, job loss, divorce and a variety of other misfortunes as the doll was viewed as a cursed talisman. The Ghoul Through Arabic folklore is that of terrifying legends and reports of an entity similar to that of the Jinn, referenced throughout the Quran but cursed to roam and dwell in uninhabited locations away from people. This entity is known as the Ghoul. The ghoul is that of a shape-shifting demonic entity that has been reported as inhabiting cemeteries, wandering through the desert and taking the form of animals and loved ones in an attempt to get close to someone before devouring them. Variations of the ghoul legend claim that once a ghoul devours someone, it will begin to take their form and become stuck in that form until another person is devoured or an incantation is spoken to allow it to return to its truly demonic form. It is due to this reason why many believe the ghoul inhabits cemeteries as to allow it to take the form of recently deceased loved ones and whoever else it chooses. Interestingly enough, there are a number of conspiracies and reports all throughout Iran and Afghanistan with people believing that the demonic entities of the jinn and the ghoul roam the land in an attempt to continue spreading war and violence. There are even a number of Iranian military reports that speak of encounters with ghoul and jinn several days before a large riot or attack was perpetuated by local populations. 
This has led some to believe that these entities are responsible for the turmoil throughout the countries and could be working to spread the influence of such violent tendencies throughout the populace. But what do you all think of these terrifying accounts of paranormal entities that are believed to terrorise and haunt people from around the world? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.